Gotcha. Yeah, you guys Well, all of this is very overwhelming, and uh, the ground is still shaking for me. Uh, so, but I want to thank everyone so much, everyone who who is here, and uh, everyone who who is involved in this climate fight because this is a fight across borders, across continents, and um, it's. It's, as you said, it is insane that a 16-year-old have to cross the Atlantic Ocean to, to make a stand and to... And uh, this, of course, is not something that I want everyone to do. Okay, so we've got time for some questions. It was very surprisingly good. Um, I did not feel seasick once, so that was... <laughs> And uh, I am very grateful for Team Militia and everyone else who has been making this trip possible. And uh, of course for everyone, everyone else, every activist who fight daily to, to save the world basically, but to keep the fossil fuels in the ground. The climate and ecological crisis is a global crisis and the biggest crisis humanity has ever faced and if we don't manage to work together to cooperate and to to work together despite our differences then we will fail so we need to to stand together and support each other and uh, and to take action because otherwise it might be too late so let's not wait any longer let's do it now even on a sailboat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I, I heard about the forest in the Amazon rainforest, the fires in the Amazon rainforest. So that's, yeah, and um, it is of course it's devastating, and I it's so horrible. It's hard to imagine. I so I mean we need to. I mean, this is a clear sign that we need to stop destroying nature and we need, and our war against nature must end. And uh, I mean, the Amazon is such a key to addressing the climate crisis and the ecological crisis. So that is incredibly important. We cannot understand how important it is. The back there. It's strange, everyone always asks me about Donald Trump. <laughs> Uh, but, I mean, my message for him is just listen to the science, and he obviously doesn't do that. So, I mean, I, as I always say to this question, if if any no one has been able to convince him about the climate crisis, the the urgency, then why should I be able to do that? So I'm just going to to now focus on on spreading awareness and that people in general will start caring and realize how big of a crisis this is.